Like many of you, I find that branding a Canvas app can sometimes be a bit challenging. So I have a go-to method for how I specifically manage my branded colors inside of a Canvas app. And the way I do it is to front load all of my, my branding colors as global variables. So let me show you how this works in practice. I have a couple of objects here. For the triangle, I'm just going to go ahead and go over to its fill property and change it from our lovely default blue to one of the colors I already have preloaded in as a global variable. You can see once I type in my global variable name and dot, it gives me all the different colors that I have preloaded. So we'll select this accent green. So you can see how that was very simple, very easy for me to recall that color and find it and apply it to this rectangle. Let me go ahead and show you how I did this. I start by going to the app and then going to the on start property of the app. From here, it's pretty straightforward. I just create a variable. You could call this variable anything you want. Um, if you have departmental specific colors that you want to use or some other some other word um, just keep in mind you do need to call you need do need to type that in order to call those colors so i personally recommend it being something short um, not anything real long that you have to type out every single time to call the color that you need but certainly you can tailor this to whatever meets your needs within your organization and from there, you can see I have each of my individual colors, the name, and then the RGB. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, what this allows me to do is create meaningful names. Instead of having to, say, have a notepad with all of my RGBs and notes about, you know, this is the color and this is when it's used, I can, I can essentially put these with my meaningful names as global variables and then I can call them and change a color property on an object to whatever that that name is that is meaningful to me. So you can see how this is really flexible. Another really great thing about using this method that I have found is let's say that I need to change accent green. Maybe my branding group came back and said, hey, we don't like this shade of green anymore. We're going to change it up. Well, now you have the problem of I have, you know, multiple objects throughout a Canvas app spread across multiple screens that are all using this color of green. So instead of having to go in and change each of those objects individually, I can simply go here to my global variables and I can change this color. So I'm going to change it from 99 to 75 on my red property. And if we watch, you see how my rectangle turned black. All you have to do is go over here because you did change your global variable. You just need to run the on start and you can see it's changed. The shade of the green has changed. So if I want to change it Further, let's say they come back and they say, we don't like that shade of green either. We want to try this green. You can see it changed again. So you can see how this becomes really powerful to help you quickly make changes to any colors that you have within your branded app. It's one of my favorite methods to use. It also helps with consistency. So. That's how I leverage this. And then I like to take it one step further. Let's say you have multiple shades of gray and multiple shades of blue, and maybe certain accent colors are only used for specific departments or scenarios with inside your organization. It can get a little bit tricky to remember, oh, this shade of gray is the one I use for this group, but this shade of gray is for everyone. 
So what I like to do is I also create myself a key so that I never have to guess um, and I never have to do any rework. And the way I do that is on my on start property again, after all of my global variables, you can see I have a collection. And I simply just have the name of the color, meaning the, the meaningful name that I have chosen for, for this color for me and my purposes, and then the actual color itself. You could, of course, add other descriptors here, like a department-specific color. If you had multiple departments that use their own branding or products that use their own branding, you could go ahead and incorporate those properties here in the collection as well. And then I take this collection and I create a a blank screen that I always call the branding screen that kind of sits in the background and it's really just there to help me. And from there, I take a gallery and I insert that collection and you can see what results is the color name and kind of a little color swatch or sample so that I can visually see what those different shades are to further help me decide which one of those I will use where. And certainly if you have other descriptors like this medium blue is only used for finance, you can have that in the gallery as well to, to help yourself. And you can, you can even push this further. And what you could do is you could set up a Canvas app that has all of your branding specifics, your colors, preloaded logos and images, all of the things that you would need to meet any branding requirements you have within your organization. And you could turn that into a template that you could share with other makers. So then all of that information is ready to go, um, ready to be utilized, and then it keeps it consistent throughout your, your entire organization. So this is my DT tidbit. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like content like this, please comment below. And thanks so much for watching.